What's going on, Simplifiers? Welcome back to Dennis Simplifies. In today's video, we are going to go through the Euler method in the ordinary differential equation single steps. Alright, so as usual, let's simplify. So when it comes to the Euler method using the ODE single steps, you can see over here that we've been given the differential equation. Remember that in our previous videos, we have, we have been dealing with polynomial equations. So in this one, we are dealing with differential equations, okay? We've been given the initial value for y naught, which is 1. And again, we've been given the interval for the values of x, that x starts from 0 and ends at 0 0.6. And we've been given the step length, which is h, to be 0 0.2, all right? And then we are saying we should use the Euler method. And then we are, we are being asked that, in each case, compute the absolute error at x equals 0 0.6. So, with this, having our interval for x and knowing our step length, which is h, we can go ahead to draw our table and find the values for x, okay? So, over here, we know our step length to be 0 0.2. Then, with the 0 0.2, we are going to add the 0 0.2 to the 0 and then get 0 0.2. Add the 0 0.2 to the 0 0.2, get 0 0.4, add again to 0 0.6, and then we end over there. Because we've been told that the interval for the x value starts from 0 and ends at 0 0.6. All right? And then again, we've been told that the initial value for y is equal to 1. So we can put the y not value here as 1. All right? Now, whenever we are dealing with the Euler method, we can see from here that we have the y1, y2, and y3 values missing. So our job with the Euler method is that we are supposed to find these values, y1, y2, and then y3. So that's what we are going to do in this video using the Euler method. So this is the formula for the Euler method. So we have yi plus 1 equals yi plus hf, that the function of xi, y1, yi. Now what is the main problem here is that we have the value for h which is 0 0.2, we can find for these values, the i, using iterations. So the main thing is to find for this function over here. So that function, from the question that we've been given, we've been given a differential equation. If you make y prime the, 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 the subject, and we have fxy equals x over y. So that if I make y prime here the subject, this is the equation I'm going to get. Now from this equation, we can conclude that the function of xi y, yi is equal to xi over yi, just as we have from the equation. So y prime is the same as the function of xi yi. So what we have to do next is that we want to find the values of the y, you see, using this equation and then this equation here. So we're going to use iterations to find them. So the iterations are going to begin from 0, which start from y, y1. And then we use this equation here to find for y1, y2, and y3. So let's go ahead with our iterations. So as I said with the iterations, we are going to start with the first iteration. That is when i is equal to 0. So when i is equal to 0 in this equation, we are going to have y1 equals y0, which is y0, plus hf. Then here is going to be x0 and then y0, right? So when we take this formula also, we are going to have x0, y0, which is equal to x0 over y0, right? We know the value for x0 to be 0, right, from this table. And then we also know the value for y0 to be 1. So we can conclude from here that this function here is all equal to 0. So we're going to put this value inside the y formula that we have here. When we do that, we're going to have it here. So we're going to replace this function here with 0, the 0 that we had, right? And from there, we say y0 plus hf, this value here. And then we replace it with 0. We know h to be 0 0.2. So plus the y0, which is 1, then we have our value to be 1. So you can see that. So we can replace this y1 here with 1. Okay. Now let's move to the next iteration. The next iteration, we're going to have i to be 1. Okay. Then when i is 1, we're going to have x1, y1. Here it was i was 0, so I had x0, y0. Here it's going to be 1. So what's our x1 value? That is 0 0.2, right? And then we know our, our y1 value to be 1 from our previous iteration. So you put a 1 over there. And then when we do the computations, we have 0 0.2. So we now go back to the formula, right? It's going to be y1 plus hf x1 
this one y1 so in this iteration we are replacing the i with one okay here we replace it with zero so we're here to we know our y1 value we know h value and we know this value here to be zero point so we replace it over there when we replace we have one plus zero point two which is for the h and then the, this function here is all equal to zero point two then we have the y2 value to be 1.04 all right now we have to find for y3 so on our third iteration also we are taking i to be equal to two then this is what the formula is going to look like so you have y3 we say i is going to be two so if i is two and then here is i plus one then here's going to be a y3 right equals i2 right y1 sorry yi so y2 plus hf then x2 y2 now for this h x2 y2 is going to be the value of x2 divided by the y2 x2 is 0 0.4 divided by y2 y2 is 1.04 so you put it inside here and then h is 0 0.2 then y2 the value for this y2 is 1.04 so you put that two also over here and then you find for the y3 as you can see here it's 0 0.4 for the x value 0 0.4 for the x value then the y2 value was 1.04 then times the h plus this y2 which is 1.04 then we find for our y3 so we can say that our nodes therefore the node point, the nodal points are this so we can fill this value in we can we have found for y not y1 y2 and then y3 so that's basically the whole idea for the Euler method we are trying to solve for a differential equation we already we, we have been given the interval for x and then the step length which is h to be 0 0.2 so we just fix in we fix all everything inside the formula and then we derive this this formula by making the the differential value the subject which is which in this case was y prime we get this one and then we use this one for our iterations so finally we found that x3 at 0 0.6 was 1.117 so this is our final value which is 1.117 but then you can you, you will notice that when you do this on your calculator when you find for y prime equals y over x on your calculator you are going to get a value that is way different from this which tells us that the error method is actually not accurate it's not as accurate as we want it to be so when you move over here when we pick x from the question we're supposed to find x when x is equal to 0 0.6 so we can say that when x is equal to 0 0.6 the value is 1.117 but as i said the value here is not accurate the error method is not giving us a very accurate answer so how do we know this we do it analytically we, this was the question we're given y prime equals x over y when you use the differential when you use integration to find your equation which is going to be y squared equals x squared plus plus c you can use your initial values which is 0 and 1 to find the value of c they can get c to be 1 the initial values were 1 and 0 right so 1 squared equals 0 plus c which is from here you're going to get the c to be 1 and when you have when you make y the subject you're going to get y equals the square root of x squared plus 1 we said we want to find the value of x when it is equal to 0 0.6 so when i put the 0 0.6 you can see that i'm getting 1.166 but then from the earlier method we had 1.117 so you can see that the absolute error is around 0.049 right which tells us that the error method is not very accurate so there are other methods that we can actually use to make our uh, computations very 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 you know close closer to the exact solution all right so that's basically the main idea about the error method if you have any questions be sure to leave them in the comment section and then of course like and then subscribe until next time or until i see you in the next video all right so make sure you like and subscribe yeah <laughs> until i see you in the next video party yeah. <laughs>